Yeah, I just uh, received a Rollin CJ500 uh, solvent ink pump. And they fit in an SC500 or also a FJ50 or 52. So I just wanted to show you how to replace the tubing on one of these uh, pumps. Uh, there's, let me unbox it. Okay, so the way you install these pumps into the printer would be this direction. There's uh, just one screw right in the middle that holds the pump to the printer. Uh, this is the wiper. The, the wiper itself isn't going to be included. So, I mean, it comes with the, the arm, the control arm that, uh, you know, moves back and forth with the pump. But you'd have to install the wiper with it. So a pump basically has two sides to it. And one of these tubes goes to the capping station on the left side. And the other tube goes to the drain line. So, and then this tube on the right side goes to the capping station and the other tube right there goes to the drain line. So if you'd have to replace this tube, you'd have to turn it over on the left side, depending on which side you're replacing, because the other side has two screws also, one, two. So that's for the right side and one, two for the left side. So you just unscrew those two screws, pop it out, and Okay, so I unscrewed the two screws and popped this piece out. So now you're left with a spring and this plastic part with the, you know, the wiper arm. And this is supposed to be in there. So you can remove this. Then there's a black piece. And that black piece is, you know, on there also, but you can, you know, just put these three together. So when you're putting that back together, this piece here has to be on the outside. All right, so those three are back together. Now inside, now you can see the tubing. So it's supposed to be like that. So you would have to remove these clips if yours have those. And then there's little plastic holders inside there too that hold the tubing down. That prevents like the tubing to come out of its uh, hole there so after you remove those which is that and that one and then there's you know those two little black things that hold the, the tubing down so after you got that removed it's you know just simple you just remove the tube from this but before you remove it like I said it's always good to you know, take a pen, take a pen and mark that location of where the tube goes in, how it's like at this point, I would right there, mark it right there, right there with a pen, just so you can tell, you know, how far the tube needs to be at that point. And same with this side too, if you wanted to mark like the location right, right there. That way you can tell from this side, you know, where the location, so of the tube. So after you put, you know, 
those marks on there, then you would go over, cut a piece the same size or longer, like I said, and then mark off where you made the marks on it. And then come back in, bring the tube back, and put it in just like this way. So it's got to go this side on the this side has to be on top and that side has to be towards the bottom and then again put the rubber things back in there just like this we put this black piece back in there just like that you just push it in and do the same thing for this side If you look again, I put that piece there and that piece there, right there, right there. Then install the clips. So if you notice, the clips go over the rubber parts, just like that I installed on both sides. So that's on there, just like that. Then do the same side, same thing for the other side. Okay, so now you got that back on. Now it's time to put this piece back on there, the one with the three. So you would just have to, you know, push it down in there. And you might have to turn it a little bit, like rotate it, in order for it to fit back in there. So now that's in there. And probably the most difficult part of this, replacing the tubes, is this thing. So, what you have to do is, this little spinner thing right here. The reason why there's a, you know, area where it sticks out on this side, right where I'm pointing, is because right here, right there, there's a little tooth or a little, you know, part that sticks out. That little part has to stick in that part right there when you're going to put it back on. So the spring goes in here, and it's hard to film this because I need to get. So what you do, just figure out the holes where it lines up. So I can tell that it has to go in this direction. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the direction it has to go on. So it has to like fit in just like that with the, you know, the, sc the spring on, on there. So it has to go in that direction, not like that direction, not that direction, but it has to go on like that. And again, this little piece here, right there, that little thing sticking up down has to fit on that right there. So let me put it on. Okay, so I got it held there. And if you can see in there, uh, if I can focus right there, that little piece is sticking down in there. And that has to be there or else the wiper system won't work. That little piece is what moves the wiper back and forth. 
So you got to make sure that that's in there just like that. So while you're still holding it now, put the two screws back in there and screw it together. And it's back together with the two screws. And if you notice, I've got it. See how when you move this wiper, that white uh, disc moves along with it? That's how you know that you got it in there right. So. So the important thing to check is to make sure that when you're moving this wiper module back and forth, the wiper arm, that that white thing inside there, just like right there, is still moving with it or else your wiper system won't work it won't clean and you'll have to take apart everything again and you know take it out and redo everything so just make sure it's back on there so that's best way I can explain on replacing the tubing